I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. October the 22nd, Motor Point Arena in Wales. Do not sleep on the Liam Williams Ahmed Patterson contest. It pits Liam Williams, who is the British and Commonwealth champion at Light Welter. 15 wins and 10 KOs. He gets to defend his crown on home territory against Ahmed Patterson, who is the IBF international champion. He has 17 wins. Seven KOs, both men undefeated, both men undefeated. I believe this will be a co-feature on the Eubank Jr., Chris Eubank Jr. versus Tommy Langford contest. Now, if Langford can fight anything like his namesake, Sam Langford, Eubank, you're in big trouble. Tommy Langford, what about Tommy Langford? He's from West Brom. That's in the Midlands of the United Kingdom. He has 17 wins. Seven KOs, no losses. He's the Commonwealth Champion and the WBO Intercontinental Champion. He informs us that he has sparred Eubank Jr. before, but so did Nick Blackwell, and he thought that set him in good stead for their contest, and we saw what happened there. No significant names on his box rec, as far as I can see. You can see by the stats, considering who he's fought, the punch power... Is not quite there. He's not a big puncher. However, he is a big, strong guy. He is very strong, as far as I've seen. He's one of them big guys who doesn't have a huge punch. He's six foot, big old unit, and he's going to take some shifting. Although he hasn't faced anyone, I don't believe, that can hit like Eubank. He's still going to take some shifting. Doesn't have a huge punch when we look at the statistics. And from the fights I've seen, his hand speed is not the fastest I've seen. I have to say that at 160. Not a bad boxer. Not a great boxer, but not a bad boxer. But this is his big chance. This will be a Box Nation card. Frank Warren won the purse bids. Langford is signed to Frank Warren's Queensbury promotional imprint. And this will be his big shot taking on Eubank Jr. with his Commonwealth belt on the line and Eubank's British title on the line. Lankford is rated number two by the WBO. I believe this is why Frank went for the purse bids. If Lankford could beat Eubank, then he'll more or less be the mandatory for Billy Joe Saunders' title. You know, that'd be a nice in-house fight for Frank, so that's um, Frank's plan in my opinion. Eubank Jr. is rated number two by the WBC and WBA, number five by the IBF. Number nine by the WBO. If Eubank is successful against Langford, I believe one more fight will get him the Lonsdale belt outright. Eubank Jr. is only an inch shorter than Langford at 5'11", well conditioned. He's the British champion. He won that by taking out Nick Blackwell, the British champion, who actually um, Langford faced Dan Blackwell, who is Nick Blackwell's brother, and that went the distance. If Eubank is talking about Golovkin, he'll be expected to see off Tommy Langford. If it does go the distance, he'll need to do a clean job. But let's face it, with all the headlines he's been courting, and he has been in the better and bigger fights, he's only lost once to Billy Joe Saunders, who is currently the WBO middleweight champion. 23 victories, 18 inside the distance, and one loss. Nick Blackwell is way better than anyone I believe that Tommy Lankford has faced. I believe Gary O'Sullivan, Dimitri Shudinov, Saunders, all better than anything Lankford has faced. So we'll be expecting Eubank to win inside the distance like he did Tom Doran last time out. I believe that was on the AJ Dominic Brazil card. It's a decent card in Wales. I always look forward to Eubank Jr. fighting. We've seen him in the corner, uh, as they call him now, English! <laughs> yeah. Billy Joe Saunders, 2080 split is what he's asking for to rematch Eubank. Absolutely ridiculous. He keeps talking about the amount of fights that Eubank has ducked. And okay, fair enough, but I can count a whole load that he's ducked. And they don't, don't look like we're going to get the rematch. The first fight, you know. Wasn't so much a brilliant boxing contest, but it was intriguing to the end. It was definitely intriguing. A rematch 
would be equally as intriguing as I believe both men would have improved considerably and it would be a domestic must-see contest in my opinion but we're not going to get that for now so Tommy Lankford will have to do for now for Eubank what Billy Joe Saunders is doing with his career only he knows.